on, everybody? What is going on? It is your boy, Darion, coming to y'all live with another video. It is the Spotlight Sports Talk. It's shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. And this is your first time ever being at the YouTube page. I would suggest that you subscribe and hit that bell button to get the latest news in all sports. But we're here with another Raiders video. Now, this Raiders video, we're back to the NFL free agency and we have to go into it and see if we could go about going against this guy now this guy that I really love as a wide receiver and if we could go out and get this guy Minnesota Vikings wide receiver Stefan Diggs because the Las Vegas Raiders have to say that they have the draft capital to get Stefan Diggs now the Las Vegas Raiders have hold five of the 91 selections in the 2020 NFL Draft, which should be enough draft capital to land Stefan Diggs in a trade. Now, heading into the 2020 season, the 2020 NFL season, it is the biggest role on the Las Vegas Raiders on the offensive side of the ball, and that is the wide receiver position. Now, the Raiders currently don't have a legitimate number one wide receiver due to the fact that no Antonio Brown was there last year, and Tyrell Williams had to step up as the number one receiver, was was not able to actually play that number one receiver position now the Raiders currently don't have that legitimate number one wide receiver and it's something that they will look to address in the 20 NFL draft and free agency but however this could be another plan in place for the Raiders that could be on the market to swing a blockbuster trade in an elite wide receiver much as we did last season. Now, during the 2019 season, the Raiders sent two draft picks to the Pittsburgh Steelers star for Antonio Brown, but it blew up in our face like it wasn't nothing. It was terrible, and I just wish that things could have worked out, but it didn't. Oh, well, it is what it is. But I have to say, look ahead to the new league year. The Raiders should have their eyes set on another elite wide out in this league and targeting him, which is Minnesota Vikings, Stefan Diggs. Now this guy has done enough to, uh, to produce something coming into this league, even with the John Gruden offense that he has. I think he fits the offense. And on Tuesday, Fox Sports' Colin Howard did say, and he spoke out on Diggs, stating, stating that the team is going to move on for him, meaning the Minnesota Vikings are going to move on from Stephon Diggs. It was not a big surprise that Diggs was not happy last season in Minnesota, but I have to say the narrative throughout the Raiders have been immediate need for someone at the top tier depth chart at the wide receiver position. Gotta be honest with you there. But Diggs deleted all Vikings related posts on his Instagram on Tuesday and signed that He's either done in Minnesota or he's very unhappy. But either way, the Raiders have an opportunity to jump and make a deal for his services. I would love to see this happen. I cannot wait to see this happen. In order to get Diggs to the Vikings, the Raiders would have to put together a better package of picks and send that was sent to still um to the Pittsburgh Steelers for Antonio Brown. Now Mike Mayotte sent a third and a fifth round pick to the Steelers for Antonio Brown. And you have to think a first rounder would be involved Diggs services for this first time around. Now Stefan Diggs is only 26 years old. Only 26 years old. And he has posted back-to-back 1,000-yard -back receivers since the Vikings went and got Kirk Cousins and his targets and his receptions and touchdowns went down last season knowing that he, Kirk Cousins did make Adam Thielen the number one receiver for that Minnesota Vikings team. Now, Las Vegas is likely is going to spend one of their first two round picks on a wide receiver anyway. We all know this already. So why not skip that trade onto the two first rounders and get a proven commodity? But remember, a Pro Bowl right tackle when Trent Brown was already recruiting Diggs, already recruiting Diggs in 2019 NFL season with Diggs, Tyrell Williams, and Hunter Renfro at the top three of the Raiders wide receiver depth chart at the position suddenly becomes a strength. Now, I really love what the Raiders is trying to do here and get Stefan Diggs. And I think it's a great idea and go get him. It doesn't make any sense to go out and get anything else. If you're not going to get anybody in the draft, Stephon Diggs is one of the best wide receivers 
on the market that's actually probably going to be a free agent or trade him. He's probably the best, honestly, out of this free agency. But I would love to still go out and get a young receiver out of college. We cannot pass up on any of these other receivers in college. There's no way we could pass up on any of these receivers in college. But Stefan Diggs is another commodity that could produce year after year. He was just one of those guys that he could be a number one in his league, but he's under Adam Thielen. He's under Adam Thielen, and I think he wants to get away from being a number two and not being shown much. We all know about the Minnesota Miracle and what Stephon Diggs did, did. But at the end of the day, Stephon Diggs is one of those players that you cannot pass up on. I would give up a first-round pick for Stephon Diggs. I would. One of those first-round picks, number 12 or number 19 for Stephon Diggs. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. I will do it because the guy is still young. He's 26 years old. He puts up numbers, and he's a playmaker. The guy is a playmaker, and the guy can ball. I would love to see what we can do to go get Stefan Diggs. But let me know what you think about this video, y'all. Let me know, should we go out and go get Stefan Diggs from the Minnesota Vikings and bring him to the Las Vegas Raiders? Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It is the Spotlight Sports Talk, and I will see y'all in the next video. Yeah.